Hello, this is Jonathan Johnson here again today working with Windows Server 2008 inside of VMware. Today we're doing activity 4-9, creating domain local and global security groups. Our objective is to create a domain local and global security group and make the global group a member of the domain local group. Description is... <coughs> Excuse me. In this activity, assume that you have been asked to set up groups to, ma to manage access for the managers in an active directory that has four domain domains. You will practice beginning the setup by creating a domain local group that will be used to manage resources and a global group of accounts. Last, you will add the global group to the domain local group. To complete the account activity, you will first need an environment in which Active Directory is installed and two accounts that are already set up by your instructor. Alright, so you'll also need to have an account that has administrative privileges. So, we're going to open the NMC you have previously saved for accessing the Active Directory Users and Computers tool. For example, if you have, if you save the MMC using the name Manage Accounts, then click Start, Points All Programs, Administrative Tools, Manage Accounts. So, Start, Administrative Tools, Manage Accounts, whoops, Let's see, Start, Oh, not not even sure. All programs. I'm in the wrong thing. All programs. <laughs> and then administrative tools. And click manage accounts. I got it. I can scroll through here to see it. I gotta find it now. Don't see manage accounts. All right, we're going to do the other way. Start administrative tools, Active Directory users and computers. There we go. Three simple clicks, less than two seconds. All right. So in the tree in the left pane, we're going to double click Active Directory users and computers. So right here, double click that to get rid of everything to so it's not all over the place. So, double click that. Okay, now it's there. Um, now we're going to click users in the tree. Open this. Click users in the tree. We're going to click the action menu, point to new, and click group. Action menu, point to new, click group. So now we did that. We're going to, in the group name box, enter domain messengers. MSGRS messengers plus your initials. For example, domain messengers JP. So JJ. All right. And we're gonna, what is the pre Windows 2000 group name? Well, the pre Windows 2000 group name is the exact same, same thing as the group name. Because notice when you're typing up here, what you, whatever you type it in the first box, see, it puts it in, in the bottom box below for the. Uh, group name for the pre Windows two, Windows Server 2000, 2000 so now we got that we're gonna click domain local under group scope and click security domain local under group scope and let's make sure the group type is security so now we got that set up we're gonna click OK alright then we're gonna look for the group you just created in the right pane within the users folder so we just created it in the right pane in the users folder so well alright Right here it is. Domain messengers. You can also click properties to open it up, make sure you got the right one. This one is not it. Make sure we got the um all right. <laughs> click to create a new group. Let's see. Click OK and look for the group you just created in the right pane. Click to create a new group in the current container icon on the button bar with two heads. Click on the... Alright, so now we're going to click to create a new group in the current container icon on the button bar with two heads. So you see right here you have one head, that's a create a new user in the current container. We're going to click the one next to it, create a new group in the current container. So we click that to open up for the current container. In the group name box we're going to type... 
not F, global messengers, like that, plus your initials again, like last time. And notice it puts it right below it, like last time, for the pre-Windows 2000. All right. Click global under group scope and security under group type. Global under group scope, security under group type. That's good. Now we're going to click OK, and then look for the group we just created. So there's this one right here we just created, and then there's this one right here we just created. So we just created two groups now. Now we're going to double click the global group you created. So double click the global group we just created. Click the members tab. Now we're going to click, double click, okay, click the members tab. Up top, we click the members tab. And notice that no members are currently associated with this group. Click the add button right here. That way we can add the members we want associated with this. Click the advanced tab over here on the bottom. That way we make it a little more complicated, like always. Computer stuff, right? All right. Now we're going to click, now we're going to click, uh, Find Now. We click Find Now on the side, and it pulls up on the bottom a list of all the users we could put into this group of a uh, file. Now we're going to click the first user provided by your instructor, which uh, press and hold the control key and select the second user provided by your instructor. Okay. Press and hold the control key. All right. We're going to go to the ones we just created. So Global Messengers and... No. Domain users. There we go. All right. Now we got those selected. We're going to click OK. All right. There we go. Now we got those guys all in there. Administrator, domain users, global messengers. All right. Make sure that the users are you selected are shown in the select users, contacts, computers, or groups dialog box. Okay. They're all shown in there. We're going to click OK. All right. There we are. Administrator and then domain users are in there. All right. Again, be sure that both accounts are shown in the members dialog box on the members tab. Okay, they're there. So we click OK. Double click the domain local group, such as Domain Messengers JP. So, Domain Messengers, right there. Now we double click that. You know what? One second here. I don't know why this did not. Oh, whoa, whoa. We don't want to delete it. I don't know why this did not type my initials in with it. There we go. All right, so now we're in the domain messengers, all right? What members are shown? Well, members tab. None of them are. Oh, it's because I renamed it. Damn it. I renamed it when I wasn't supposed to. But if I wouldn't have renamed it, it would have shown the um, it would have shown uh, global messengers and also administrator underneath this one if I hadn't renamed it. Damn it! Let's try it. Let's try and get rid of that. J. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let's try and get rid of this. Let's rename this. We'll see what happens. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. It's because I renamed it. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. All right. It, if I would, it would have shown, like, if you go under right here and then click members, it shows administrator and domain users under global um, messengers properties. Okay. And under uh, domain messengers, it would have shown, on the members tab, it would have shown global messengers and administrator. But I deleted it and changed the name, so it didn't. Gosh, dang it. All right. Now we're going to click Add. Oh. Dang it, man. All right. Now we're going to go here. We're going to click Add. And then click Advanced. All right. Now we're going to click Find Now on the side. We're going to locate the global group you created, such as Global Messengers JP, down here. Play. There it is. Okay. Now we'll click OK. verify that the global group is displayed in the select users, contacts, computers, or groups dialog box, and then click OK. All right, it's right there. We click click OK on there. Now it's there right there also. We click OK again. Close the NMC and click Yes to save consoles. Exit out. 
well, it didn't let us save. If you haven't already given the console a name, which we are, oh, we already have given a name, it automatically saves, I set that up. That's right, that's right. So I hope you learned a little something in this video today on uh, creating domain local and global security groups. Um, that's all I have for you in this activity. Basically all this does is group people into certain files like, okay, Bob, Jill, and Joe are all going to be in this folder, and Jonathan, Jeff, and Johnny are all going to be on this folder, but only these people in this in the folder A can view this stuff, but people in folder B have access to everything. So I hope you learned a little something in this activity, and I hope to see you again in my future videos. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.